Welcome back guys, we've done our Premier League Team of the Season predictions and now it's time for the Bundesliga one. The official release date for this should be the 13th of May and so it's going to be right after the Premier League one the following Friday. To get the ball rolling, I'm just going to do it quick and dirty. Jan Zoma, he has been impressive and has made 120 saves this season, which is 10% more than anybody else in the league. And knowing EA, Neuer will definitely be in the team as he is every year and obviously he is still an incredible keeper. With the defence, we are starting with two exciting players who many had not envisioned having the season they have had. Schlotterbeck has been a powerful and quick centre-back and has been hard to beat this season, even registering a handful of goals. David Raum has been pivotal to helping keep Hoffenheim in contention for European football with a respectable 10 assists so far, which is joint third most in the Bundesliga. He has, however, produced the most crosses this season, hence the amount of goal involvements he has accrued. Sulu is going to be Schlotterbeck's centre-back partner because of just his consistency. He has been a rock this season to help Munich ease to the title, which is near enough confirmed now. He will, however, be a Dortmund player next season, so will we see his performances continue into 22-23 season? Finally, he's not a right back, but he's going in anyway, in Dicker. Again, another very solid ball-playing centre-back and recently limited Barcelona's advances when Frankfurt knocked them out of the Europa League in a 3-2 on aggregate win. Another defender that could easily feature in the team of the season is Alfonso Davies, as he's an exciting player to watch on Bayern's left and he's also a fan favourite. Not as many goal involvements as you'd think when watching him, but he's a solid nonetheless. In the midfield is the man who has more special cars than fingers, Nkunku. He's been, bar Lewandowski, the Bundesliga player of the season. With 17 goals and 13 assists, it's a sublime total for Leipzig star man. Despite all this, they have fallen short of Dortmund, who are in second place by quite a bit, but that takes nothing away from Nkunku. Then we will have the player that leads on assists this season, Thomas Muller. He is one of the most consistent players in German football and at an age of 32 has still managed to create 16 chances that have led to goals this season. He's a Bundesliga team of the season staple and he's there again. Finally, I do think Kimmich is the best to complement this field. I know it's another Bayern player, but they have been solid this season. And it's not all about the stats, even though he has bagged 10 assists, but he's been a great defensive-minded asset for Bayern, accompanied by his sublime ball-playing ability, and he's the third midfielder in this squad. Other exceptional performances have come from Bellingham, Wurtz and Koeman. Bellingham, who is still only 18, has consistently turned up in both domestic and European competitions for Dortmund, even scoring in one of Dortmund's Champions League ties. But the question is, will he be at Dortmund for much longer? Wurtz is the same age as Bellingham and has made 17 goal contributions for Leverkusen in the league so far. He was poached last season from Köln at just shy of €200,000 and this is what he is producing. Surely he is the biggest bargain globally this season. And finally, Komen has been an exciting watch. He has been consistent in the Bundesliga and has really turned up in the Champions League prior to Bayern's abrupt ejection by Villarreal, of course. Strikers is nice and easy for this league. We have this man who's already got a Team of the Year card. Lewandowski is number one with 32 goals and is arguably the best striker in the world at the moment with potentially only a challenge from Benzema. Just as a fun fact as well, he has hit the woodwork seven times so far this season, the most in the Bundesliga. He's going to be joined by Patrick Schick and Erling Haaland with 20 and 18 goals respectively. Although neither Leverkusen or Dortmund have really challenged Bayern this season, Haaland's contributions have placed his team comfortably in second and Schick has helped Leverkusen put a real effort to push for Champions League spots. Anthony Modest deserves a place on the bench with 17 goals and is being Cohn's talisman after being promoted in 2019. They are also well placed to make a top half finish thanks to this man's contribution, keeping them away from a relegation batter. And the final member of this squad is going to be another Leverkusen player, Diaby, who was new to the Bundesliga in 2019, but this year he has teamed up with Wurz to gain 21 goal involvement and a handful of informs in the game this year so far. Between the pair of them, they have been very, very strong for Leverkusen. And that's the team, guys. Let me know what you think about it. And to close out the video, we are now going to have some gameplay with this Bundesliga team. We obviously have Indica and Kunku and Fonzie who have all been nominated in my team of the season and they are going to be playing Cam, CDM and centre-back so let's see how they get on and Dick is going to block that look at that clinical and Dick mate comfortable at the back come on little bit of skill nice and a ball playing centre-back that's what we want and he'll drive he'll drive look at how good he is even on this card and he's played it in and Nkunku almost on the link almost Alfonso Davies, look at this pace. Look at his pace. 
Can he play the ball as well? He can to Mallon. Is it going to result in a goal? Maybe if I go back to him. Oh, I'm kinky, mate. Okay, if you're going to give him the space, mate, he will do it. He will do it to you. Oh, Alfonso Davis just getting himself out of trouble. And again, oh my gosh, look at that. And offload it. Lovely play. And Dicker with a solid block there. Automatic blocking. And Kunku out muscling him. And is this going to be a second goal? Almost. And Kunku wants it back. Go on, mate. On his left. Pass the keeper. Look at that for a finish. Left foot banger. Go on, in, Dicker, mate. Mbappe in his pocket. Distribution from Nkunku, look at that. Picking out the right back, bombing up the pitch. Nkunku's through again. He's going to chip it this time. Go on for his second. Oh my gosh, he has left foot, right foot. And Dicker again, he's dribbling out of defence. He's pretty damn good. He keeps it pretty close to him for the most part. And then if he releases now into the striker, one more. And Nkunku's got it now. He's going to play it. And across the goal. And from Dicker's play from out the back, we've just scored. Fonzie's covering in there, he's quick enough to get back. And Dicker's shutting down prime icon moments on Ray. And Kunku through to Rainier and look at that for a goal. Little chip over the keeper. And Kunku with the assist. And Dicker over to the right, over to the right, over to the right ball as well. His ball playing is exceptional. Back to Nkunku, go on. And get it across the goal. And he's got another assist. I think that's Marlon that scored it. And Kunku's through. Come on, mate. Finish the game. Finesse it. Oh, he's he's Oh, he was so close.